People want fuel-efficient vehicles these days. They don't want to give up comfort and convenience. With that in mind, Ford hopes you'll want to park one of these in your drive, the 2008 Focus. There's all new sheet metal, a version of the new family grille, and a little jewelry on the side. Ford is a worldwide company, so not surprisingly, the Focus nameplate is also sold in Europe, but this car is not the same one they get across the pond. If you were waiting for the well-received Euro version, sorry, you're going to have to wait till the next generation when it becomes a true world car. The best uh, business decision in the company was to continue with the current platform, but we feel we have very, very solid products. Now, on into the future, those architectures will probably converge into one global one, uh, but we feel we have a really good proposition here with the, with the new uh, Focus. The U.S. model uses a revised platform from the outgoing car. The 140-horse four-cylinder is a carryover. The four-speed automatic gets some improvements. Focus has decent acceleration off the line. The stiffer chassis and new, firmer Euro-style suspension provide fun in the corners. Ford engineers boast the cabin is quieter than the competition. I'd have to agree. Here's the big improvement. Materials are good quality with attractive blue lighting for the controls. There are some exposed seams here, but the things you touch all feel good. To suit your mood, custom lighting is an option. Focus is the first Ford to get a sync. Microsoft sync, that is. This slick interface doesn't just link to Bluetooth phones. Phone, please say a command. Call Sarah Taccio. Calling Sarah Taccio. It also reads incoming text messages. Read message. Thanks for checking out the new Ford Focus and Sync. A uh, little product placement there. Well, there you go. <laughs> Connect just about any music player to the USB port, and it can be controlled by voice. Play genre rock. Or by this wheel. Sync can even control flash drives full of MP3 music. When you look at the, the demographics of this vehicle, and their penchant for wanting to stay connected and using technology to do it, it's a great way to get it started with a real critical mass and then work its way up. We did it to focus on what the customer needs were. So we decided to turn kind of convention on its head and start at the at one of our lowest models or most affordable models and then work its way up. There's side curtain airbag protection and torso units for the seats. These chairs, heated leather in this case, are a big improvement over the ones found in past foci. The back seat, also comfortable and supportive. There's just enough knee and foot room for an adult. Focus no longer comes in hatchback or wagon models. Thankfully, the seat backs fold to expand cargo. The trunk, with a few curves in it, is average in class. Thankfully, there are no hinge arms to crush luggage. Time for gripes, no telescoping wheel, a breakaway feature is missing here. Sitting next to flush glass, this trim appears awkward. Finally, while the brakes have a nice modulation to them, the rear units are drums. I find that a marketing faux pas. Styling? Well, I like the idea of this crease flowing into the front fender applique, as Ford describes this piece here, but I find the overall design busy. Tail lights that don't blend into the trunk lid make the Focus appear narrower than it is. Focus, which starts at $14,700 with destination, also comes in a two-door coupe. This loaded SES sedan with anti-lock brakes, stability control, and killer stereo goes for twenty dollars While I find the styling on the fussy side, the comfort, convenience, and drivability of the new Focus make it appealing. That's my opinion on the 2008 Ford Focus. That sync system is really pretty cool. If you want to read more, go to the website, www.nwcn.com autos. And there's a link to my email there. Go ahead and write me if you've got questions. That's Drive. I'm Tom Volk.